Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something very exciting. We've got an update for you on our charging situation at home, how that's changing. But full disclosure, before we get into all of the details, this is a partnership between uh, myself and this company called D, but more details on that soon. But let's go into um, what this is all about and why I've done this. So, as you can see, I've got a Tesla wall connector 3 over here, which we use to charge our Model Y performance, which is over here to the side of me, which you can't see yet, and also our Model X, which is not here at the moment. And so we've been doing this for the past, I think, year and a bit when we've converted over to two EVs. And one of the things that um, has been, I guess, uh, not as easy because of the size of our garage is actually managing charging. Because we've got a five and a half meter by five and a half meter garage, it means that um, there is actually no space to walk behind um, behind the car to move the cable across from one side to the other. Yes, this is a very first world problem, um, but having two EVs and starting to drive more and use the car more, we wanted to see uh, how else could we make our lives easier. And so at one stage, I even considered, you know, do we get a battery um, with a DC charger that's still on the cards, but um, more on that next time. Uh, or do we get another charger itself, like an AC, AC power charger like this Walk Connector 3, or do we use a slow charger? And so what we currently do at the moment is, I actually, every time we need to charge, I grab the cable from over here, and then I bring it over this side, and then I plug in the Y. And then when I'm done, we'll move the car out, move the X out, we'll take this, and we'll put it back over to that side. Now, we also have a Tesla mobile connector. And so one of the other things we could have done actually is just wall mount the wall connector and use that to slow charge the Model Y. But coincidentally, uh, D have reached out to me to, to ask me if I wanted to try and use their uh, new charger that they've released and to see how it goes and then potentially to offer you all a discount. So um, before we do all of that, I essentially wanted to plug in, use, create this video, make sure it's all good and then I guess publish it for you or to see. So, this is the charger that we are talking about. This is their new three kilowatt, or up to three kilowatts portable charger. And so in terms of comparison, in terms of the price at the moment, this one I think retails for about 215.95 Australian dollars. You can get a discount uh, with an affiliate code, which I'll put across the top over here, um, compared to Tesla's $550 for their mobile connector. And so what do you get? Because at the end of the day, we want to see, is this value for money? Is this something you can or should consider when you are buying a car? And I know not everyone always wants to buy a Tesla and totally okay with that as well. So let's unbox this and let's see what we get inside. Okay, so before we unbox the D mobile charger, this is what you get in your $550 Tesla wall connector. So you get two of these uh, cables which are adapters so one is pretty much 15 amp with the wider bit over here or wider earth pin and this one is your normal 10 you've got that there and um, you just plug it into your AC cable into your charge port now there is no display of any sorts but this is basically what it looks like and there is a status light when it is charging and you control everything through the app on your car so that's that Okay, so let's have a look at what we get inside. So first of all, a quick look at the box. So it shows you, you've got these things included. That's roughly what it looks like. And again, this is the new charger, so it's a new model. Contact details here, along with some certifications over here. Uh, some caution information around usage. And that's about it. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've just taken it out of the package. This is the first time that I'm seeing it as well. So this here is soft rubbery material. So it isn't the type that will grip like Velcro, but it is soft, so it won't scratch and it looks like it's potentially non-stick as well. So that's really nice. You do also have a carry handle up here as well. And of course their logo, D. And also actually, hopefully you can see that there, the D logo uh, represents, I actually don't know how to pronounce that in Chinese, but it always means putting people first. Okay, so let's unzip this. And so first of all, you've got the user guide, which is over here. So what do we see? So you've got your quick start details over here. And I'll just pan this slowly from uh, bottom to top. So you can pause the screen and have a quick read if you'd like. And then some details on connection status. 
and error codes and then some basic information so 200 to 240 volt AC max 3.45 kilowatts 230 volts at 15 amps CE certification operating temperature up to 50 degrees Celsius there's your IP rating and two years warranty along with some caution and then some FAQs as well over here so again just pause that if you want to read that in more detail and then again the last page here just talking about the company itself so always putting its people first so that's the instruction manual or the user guide then let's have a look at what else we've got so you have a big cloth microfiber type cloth this side is I guess smoother this side's a bit rougher um, obviously to wipe your cables and to wipe your LCD screen or LED screen then you've got this here which I believe is a mount so for me this is the perfect use because I will be mounting I'll be wall mounting this uh, so that it's going to be a lot easier for me to manage as a extra charger at home what else is next so then we have this so let me move some of the other stuff out of the way first so you also get a carry bag now I don't know exactly uh, how to use this right now but look it's sort of like a glove so it is pretty nice but I think realistically it's just to either put this LCD box in or the main charging box or your cables uh, and then you've also got screws and um, whatnot to wall mount it and then the main unit which is actually pretty cool because you've got this over here so let me flip the camera around to show you so this is what I'm talking about so as a part of the um, whole package you do get this carry strap so it's just easy to take with you and you also do have this mount over here so this is the bit that you can mount on the wall which I will be doing so that this can actually just sit on the wall permanently and I can potentially slow charge this one and fast charge the Model X and the reason why it suits my household so perfectly is because we don't drive the Model Y performance as much our day-to-day -day family car is the Model X and that can charge at 17 kilowatts AC which we use uh, on this wall connector and this one whilst it charges at 11 kilowatts we don't drive it so often so I'll potentially be using this and so if you have any questions over the coming months days however long it is if you have any questions about the product at all please do feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll be doing updates in the future as well but I actually like this carry handle it's actually very very handy so either way this is the box itself and so you can see that there are buttons over here as well and then on the back of it if I remove this mount you can see there's also other details here too and then the last thing as well that I forgot to cover is you've got another tail over here included. So this one over here, I don't know if you can see that, but it does say 15 amps. Let me see if I can hold it up right there. And so this is a step down into a 10 amp. So if I remove that, you can see that one. Hopefully you can see that. So hopefully you can see that. That says 10 amp there. And so it's a step down from that one down to this one. And apparently this also does have overvolt, undervolt um, protection as well, or overloading um, protection as well as a part of the device. So let's plug it in and let's see how we go. And the other best thing about this is the fact that once you have this set up, wall mounted at home, since it is portable, all you need to do is take it out of the mount, take it away, put it in your bag and off you go. So very very good and you can also actually um there's a timer to actually delay function so that for anyone with a uh, ev plan you can actually set that as well so that's also very handy right, so first things first i've added the uh adapter on so it's stepped down to 10 amp i've got the box over here so let's plug it in and see how we go so that's in Okay, so I've just turned the power on, so that's all of the details that you can see over there. Now I've just gone into my Tesla app because I'll need to turn off my charging schedule to show you charging right now. So if I hit start charging, 
So it should hit 10 amps, which is roughly 2, two kilowatts or 2 point something. So you'll see that uh, down the bottom there's also a green light instead of uh, blue. And so there's basically the entire unit. So you can see it's got uh, 10 amp as the setting over here. Then you've got 2.3 over here. And then uh, on the top left, you can also see that it's 9.9 .9 amps. So 230 volts, 9.9 .9 amps out of 10, and it's charging at 2.3 kilowatts. And so let me show you what we see when we're inside the car. So hopefully you can see over here, and that's quite clear. So four hours, five minutes remaining. The car is currently on 68%, charging to 80%. And that's your two kilowatts over there with 10 amps. Now what you just saw was basically the car charging at uh, 10 amps, but you do have the capability of changing the amperage over here, the A, and also a delay timer as well as a part of the functionality for this uh, portable unit. So if you look over here, it currently shows a zero. So you can set a delay. So every time you push it pretty much goes by 30 minute increments. So it goes all the way up to eight hours as a delay and then it goes back to zero. Now, why would you want to use that? Well, basically not every single car allows you to um, control and set schedules quite easily. So having the capability to do it straight from here is always quite nice and you can always um, plug it in knowing that you can set whatever schedule you want. And then in terms of the amperage, so this is currently 10 amps. So remember, um, as a part of this cable here, this one here that's included is 15 amps. And then I've got the adapter over here that is the step down into the 10 amp port hence why you see 10 amps over here however when you do push a you can actually rotate them between the different amps so you see 10 a 13 15 then it goes back to 6 8 and 10. so again not every car has the ability to customize all of that but you do have the capability of adjusting it here whenever you want so all nice and convenient so as i said as a summary amps and timer over here you basically wall mount it or keep it portable you just bring your step down from your 15 amp which is this one here down to your 10 if that's what you need and then uh bob's your uncle that's it nice and easy so that's pretty much the product i'll be using it for an indefinite period of time so if you have any questions at all please drop it in the comment box below as i said you do have a affiliate referral code that you can use for a further discount so i'll put that above here and i'll put it in the link below if you want to grab one. Overall, what's my honest thoughts? Uh, I think it's also um, bang for buck in terms of what you get or the additional accessories. So what I'm talking about that's different to the wall connector, the Tesla wall connector, um, is the fact that you've got the carry strap, you've got um, the bag, you've got the cloth, um, you've got the wall mount component as well. So it means that um, if you really don't drive your car much, um, you could probably get away with charging like this permanently. And if you are going on road trips, because it's got the mount, you just pull it off and uh, off you go. And I think the major thing really is the Tesla wall connector is $550. Yes, there are other um, charges you can get out there, which is even $400, $300. Well, you know what? This is in the low 200s. So to me, it's a no brainer based on the number of reviews and um, the comments that it has got based on feedback. So at this point in time, um, again, I've only tried to use this a little bit, so I will continue to use it. But if you also want to grab one, then you can grab one too. But ask me whatever you want in the comments below. I'll answer it to um, however the best I can. And if I don't know the answer, then of course I'll reach out to D to get um, the answer for you. And so where am I going to put this? So before we wrap up the video, I'll show you what the final setup is going to look like, but I'm not gonna hold you here to record because I'll need to do that um, and I'll take my time to do that. Okay, so we're done with the install for now. So let me show you where we've landed with uh, everything. So over that side, that's where the uh, charger sits. And then I've got it just running on temporary S hooks at the moment, just to get it out of the way. And then we've got it all the way coming up to here next to the wall connector. So you can see this is a three phase cable and this is single phase. So that's the difference in thickness. All right, so what we need to do is just flick the switch on when I get out of the car. That's already on. Come around to this side, unplug it from here. Now this is the only key difference basically with the wall connector. 
or the um, mobile connector, you do have a button over here which actually opens a port. Otherwise, that's uh, the only difference. So you've got to push down on that and then you plug it in. And that's it. And then the stats start showing over there. You can also look at it on your phone and then Bob's your uncle. So let me show you on the other side um, what the stats look like. Okay, so here you go. So you can see it's charging roughly 2.2, 2.3 kilowatts at 10 amps. And there is the charger again. So you've got your settings here if you need. It is touch sensitive. Otherwise, you can control things on your app as well for your car. Okay, so there you have it. That is the D Portable Mobile 3 kilowatt charger. So what's my final thoughts? So, and what do I like? What do I not like about it so far? So uh, there's only really two things that I feel like you're missing out uh, between this one and the Tesla mobile connector and maybe just feedback in general. Uh, number one is of course, you don't have the button here to unlock the charge port. And number two is with regards to the power adapter, um, the cable that's permanently stuck to it is the 15 amp and you do need the second adapter or the second cable, which is the 10 amp step down. Now, if you already charge with 15, then you're perfectly fine. It doesn't, I guess, matter. But for me, it's just that little extra bulky bit on the adapter that I'm not too fond of. But either way, I've hung it there. It's out of the way. Realistically, it doesn't affect it at all. And in terms of cable thickness, look, I think it's totally fine. The quality is uh, somewhat okay. It feels definitely a little bit lighter than the Tesla mobile connector handle. But does it seem to do the job? Yes, it absolutely does. And I do like the fact that you've got all the stats on the um, LCD or LED screen over there. And so having said that, what that means for me now in my charging situation is I've got the uh, mobile, connector mobile connector that will charge my X at 17 kilowatts. And then this one here will charge at uh, 2.3 kilowatts. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try to use this long-term and give you the honest feedback. So as I said, if you have any questions at all, please make sure you do drop that in the comment box below. And if you wanna pick yourself up one, then make sure you use that affiliate code um, to get one as well, because this is literally less than half the price of our Tesla mobile connector. And I think, look, based on the feedback, as I said, everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. And if I do have any issues at all, I will definitely be letting you know, because I wanna keep things honest. Anyway, that's a wrap for me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give the video a like, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you soon. Bonus content, if you watched the entire thing, who's interested in seeing how tight my garage is? So let me show you. So on the other side, I've got the charger over there. So from that side, I could obviously walk in to access my boot over here. However, from this side, because I've got the cable plugged in charging, um, and I've got my electric lawnmower over here, I can't actually fit through here. Then on this side, you've got the Model X charging with the wall connector. So that is literally all the space that we have there. So I'd say that's probably about five or six centimeters. And um, yeah, that's all the space we have. Now you know, so this is 5.5 meter by 5.5 meter garage. So Model X and a Model Y. So very limited space.